earlier in the telethon, I told you about an incredible story in July, one of the most impactful ones the center has ever seen. The center released a story about 4,000 beagles that had been rescued from a lab testing breeding facility in Virginia when inhumane animal treatment was found there. And of course, Helen Woodward Animal Center was one of the very first organizations to raise its hand and say, we want to help. In fact, we requested that we receive breeder moms, these beagles we knew that were going to need lots of medical care. We said, please send them out to us. We will work with them. And the work that was done was incredible and will touch all of us. We'll remember it forever. The story went global and made a big impact. Let's take a look back at that story with a very special thank you to the Sealander Foundation. We see a lot of different types of rescues at Helen Woodward Animal Center, and they all impact us in various ways and change our hearts and make us grow and learn. But one of the most impactful rescues that we've ever seen happened in July. The Humane Society of the United States did a seven-month investigation on a lab testing breeding facility in Virginia. It is a facility where they just breed puppies for lab testing. When you actually see what's going on in these facilities, it will absolutely break your heart. What they found when they did this seven-month investigation were over 70 animal welfare violations. So these dogs were in facilities crammed together with a bunch of other dogs. Many of them had been there for years, never having seen the sun, never having any human kindness. They had terrible teeth. They were malnourished. They were underweight. They were being euthanized when they could have been saved. And what's really terrible is that there are over 10,000 other facilities just like this across the country. When suddenly that facility was closed, there were suddenly 4,000 and beagles that needed a place to go. So the first 400 that went out, Helen Woodward was one of the very first organizations to raise their hand and say, please let us help. So 43 beagles came out to Helen Woodward Animal Center in July. I think the thing that was the most shocking and moving for all of us is that we see a lot of transports come in and we see these doors open and there's barking and there's the dogs are experiencing fear and excitement and concern. But when the doors opened on that van, it was silent which is something that we've never seen. And we suddenly realized we were dealing with a very different situation because these dogs truly had never ridden in a car. They didn't know what that experience was or being put in a transport carrier or maybe even being pet. These dogs were experiencing things for the very first time. The very first thing we did was get their, all their medical checks done and get them immediately that very night into foster. It was important to us that they spend their very first night in San Diego or in a loving home, that they get to experience what a bed was, what a couch was, what a bowl was. What we found is that these dogs literally didn't, uh, they had never walked on grass, they had never walked on carpet, and they were with us for months as we worked with them through their medical care and their dentals and getting them spayed and neutered. And of course, many of these mommy dogs had had tons of litters of puppies, so their spay surgeries were very complicated and took longer to heal from. I actually think that the silver lining on it is the education that it provided to people across the world who ended up seeing what was happening to these beagles. Currently, these facilities are technically legal. A lot of products today are being made so that they are not tested on animals, and we highly celebrate those products. We do encourage people to research, find out what's happening, speak to your local representatives, and please consider donating to facilities like Helen Woodward Animal Center that is willing to get out there and help to try to change this and help these animals when they are in need. We really did our due diligence to make sure that each one of these dogs found their perfect forever home. We had applications that they filled out. We found out what each of these people um, was willing to do and how much time they were willing to give to make sure that these pets really learned what it was like to be in a loving home. Well, we weren't sure quite what to expect at first. We found out right away that any noises would be very upsetting to her. We knew a little bit about where she was coming from but we weren't really sure what we needed to give her. We just let her show us what she needed. We're still receiving photos from these Beagle families. We're seeing all the wonderful new experiences these Beagles are having. To see the way that these Beagles have adapted to their new lives, that they're willing to forgive us, that they are willing to grow and heal. She didn't know how to play with toys. She never had a toy before. One of her favorites is a little lamp. She plays with it and she throws it 
it up in the air and she runs around with it. And one day we were getting ready for our walk in the morning and she picked up her lamb and she carried it for 45 minutes all around the neighborhood. And it was the cutest thing. It was just precious. At first when she was playing with the lamb, she'd go through the house and, and just cry with it in her mouth. And, and we didn't understand why she was doing that. And when I was talking to some of the other dog owners, they thought maybe she thinks it's one of her puppies and she's afraid someone's gonna take it away from her like it happened to her in that facility. It's amazing that these little guys can come out of it as well as they have. They are our teachers. When we see animals like this every day, it makes me want to be a better person. And there are ways that you can help. All you need to do is donate, adopt, and constantly educate yourself on what's happening in the world of animal welfare. One of the exciting things about working at Helen Woodward Animal Center is being a part of the solution, of seeing the way that this organization jumps in to fix what is broken and heal what is hurt. And when you donate to Helen Woodward Animal Center, you become a part of that solution. If you want to make an impact and change and see the hardships that we see in the animal welfare world actually heal, all you need to do is join us and be a part of it. And by donating, you get to do that. You get to actually save lives. There are so many puppies out there that need homes. I hope that others can learn from seeing the Beagle Rescue that they would like to bring a rescue in rather than go to a breeding facility. Oh, you guys, if this is not the happiest way to see your donation dollars at work, I don't know what is. I am standing here with 12 rescue beagle families, amazing people that came to the aid of these beautiful beagles after they'd gone through their surgeries and healed, and they've gone through so much, and we are so pleased to see them with their happy, happy ever afters. I want to pass this over to Diane. She's yes. going to introduce each family member. Go down the line yes. and please tell me your name and your new rescue pup's name, okay? What's your name? My name is Fletcher, and this is Rigby. Rigby's got great style with his sweater there. <laughs> He's so well behaved. Your name, ma'am? My name is Lori, and this is Bailey. Bailey. Hello, Bailey, right here. Say hello. hello. Oh, yes. Oh. And the surfer dog? <laughs> yes, Patricia Parker, and we like Bailey, so we named her Bailey. Oh, two Baileys. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Bailey. Sir, his shirt says, no rough waves. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, coming over here. Your name? Hi, Brian Dearborn. Uh, this is Lucky. Lucky, hi. Hi, Lucky. You're so cute. You are Lucky. Yeah. And yours? Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Dougal. Dougal. What's up, Dougal? <laughs> this smiling so big. Yes. Uh, my name's Anthony, and this is Jersey. Good Jersey. Hello, Jersey. <laughs> my name's Lauren, and this is Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi. You're Lucky Penny. Yes, you are. <laughs> Oh, hi there, Kathy McAdoo. Kathy and her dogs. This is Margaret. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> oh, I love this Christmas scarf. This is so cute. Your name? I'm Alex, and oh. this is Nellie. Hi, Nellie. Oh. <laughs> You're coming on this way. Your name? Hi, I'm um, Tara Crab, and Who this, this is Oliver. Hi, Oliver. You've been running around. You want to play? Oh. Your name, sir? Hi, I'm Shane. This is Benny. Benny, and then Jeffrey, and this is Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, my goodness. So cute, all these dogs. <laughs> Hunter, I'm I'm in love here. I'm dog heaven. Look at this. Beagles all aligned, all well behaved. Oh, Look how cute they are together with this reunion. <laughs> Diane, this is a story that's touched so many hearts from the very beginning that we learned of the news of those rescues happening there in Virginia. So many have been following their stories. I'm here with Mike Arms, the president of Helm Woodward Animal Center. Mike, talk to me about the reunions happening right now. This is just so moving. Well, we think the whole nation was impacted by what was going on with these beagles, and we were so glad that we were able to help them. But one thing we can't forget is that we were put on this beautiful planet to share it with them, not to use Use them, abuse them, and lose them. And let's look at the community, how they came out and adopted them just in a matter of days. Everyone went to a quality home. You told me there was no trouble finding people to step up and meet the moment and, and find these forever homes that were good homes. Not in San Diego. with plenty of animal lovers in San Diego, and they were happy to give these pets a new life. Tell me about the importance of people at home right now who are watching. They're helping, and then maybe telling a friend and reaching out and asking them to also help and donate to the Helen Woodward Animal Center. It would be great if people would do that. You know, if they can't take a pet into their home, at least they can help their local animal facility or help Helen Woodward Animal Center so we can help more of these orphans that need us.